Uh, what is your keynote about today? Um, it's about the body of the future. Um, in the past, uh, we've really manipulated the body um, as interchangeable parts. You know, this idea of if you need a new heart, you know, find a transplant. If you need a new hip, let's make a new one. Um, what I'm talking about is um, in the future that regenerative medicine will replace these kinds of technologies to make living technologies that fully integrate into the body. So you are literally sort of in the business of growing body parts, if I understand it correctly. Where, what do you think we will actually be able to do in the next 10 to 20 years? It sounds very sci-fi. Yeah, well, um, it's interesting, you know, we'll obviously be able to grow some new body parts in the, you know, we've been, grow, you know, our field has grown skin since the 80s. Um, moving forward, you know, I think cartilage will be coming online soon. Um, and then we just started a new startup to do bone. So in the next 10 years, we're hoping that'll be in people. Um, but the other thing that I think is going to be really interesting and very disruptive for the medical field is that we'll be able to grow um, kind of models of ourselves in the lab on chips so that we can learn how drugs would act in the body, um, perform, you know, test new drugs for cancer and things like that, and really um, just speed up the process of discovering and testing new therapies. Uh, I saw uh, an interesting quote that you had when you did your TED speech was, we are what our cells eat. I mean, we're used to hearing we are what we eat. So what does that mean, briefly? Well, what that means to me is that I think we often forget as human beings that we live in this living structure that uh, oftentimes is alive more in spite of what we do as opposed to because of what we do. And, and most of those cells in our bodies aren't even human. I mean, uh, we're outnumbered by bacterial cells by uh, many orders of magnitude. And um, those bacterial cells live in our gut, they digest our food, they do all kinds of things for us, and um, they kind of conspire to keep us alive. And I, I often um, think that, you know, maybe we should be considering those cells as part of, um, as co-conspirators in our lives and, and, and take care of them. Wow, okay. Uh, and finally, uh, obviously the theme today is innovation. For you and in your field, how do you sort of define innovation in your own words? For me, innovation is oftentimes making connections between things we don't expect to be connected. I'll be talking a little bit today um, about the example of Luigi Galvani from the 1790s, who made the connection between electricity in the sky, lightning, and the movement of our bodies um, in the case of you know, the frog legs that jumped. And you know, I, I hope to invite the audience to think, well, what is that hairy, crazy experiment you could do to test if there's a connection between two things that other people don't think there would be a connection between? I, I think that this is these borders and these these connections between disparate things are, are often where um, often fertile fields for innovative thinking.